Hello friends, just so welcome to this lecture on Azure Keyword Authentication and Workflow. So in this lecture, we study about uh, Azure Keyword Authentication and Workflow that okay, what are the different steps uh, which are involved to create a key and then storing the key and how the application retrieves that particular key from the key vault. So first we discuss about the key vault authentication. See, we already discussed that Key Vault is a service or a tool which is used for securing or storing, accessing secrets. And secret could be anything, which could be your API keys, passwords, or certificates. So, you know, for anything which uh, to do any operations with any with the with the Key Vault, the first thing we need to do is to authenticate to it. And to authenticate to the Key Vault, there are basically three ways to authenticate to Key Vault. The first one is manage identities for your Azure resources. See, we already discussed about the managed identities, uh, right? So, you know, just to give you an overview, uh, when you deploy or any kind of application on your virtual machine, so you can assign an identity to that particular virtual machine that has access to your Key Vault. So in that case, what will happen is, uh, the benefit is that uh, the application or the service is not basically managing the rotation of your secret keys. In this case, Azure automatically rotates the identity. And this is also the best practice, uh, sorry, this is also the best practice which Microsoft recommends that, okay, using the managed identities for Azure resources. And then we have is the service principle and certificate. So you can also use service principle and the uh, associated certificates that has access to the key vault. But again, Microsoft doesn't recommend this approach uh, because in that case, application or developer that has to take the responsibility to rotate the certificate. And, you know, we have already discussed see, one or two applications. It is perfectly fine. But in our organization where we have hundreds of applications and hundreds of secrets we need to maintain. So it could be a, a totally a mess or a, a very difficult process to follow. So there would be, you know, too many outages or there would be too many issues. So that can happen. And then the last is service principle and secret. So again, service principle and secret uh, can be used to authenticate to key vault. But uh, this, uh, this particular approach also Microsoft doesn't recommend because in that case also, uh, when it is very hard to automatically rotate the uh, secrets. And then, uh, you know, one thing we need to study that, uh, you know, anybody who is having uh, with the Azure subscription can create and use key vaults. Although your key vault benefits developers and security administrators, it can be implemented and managed by an organization's administrator who manage the other resources. So how generally it happens in case of uh, Azure, your key vault. So basically think of an, uh, you know, your administrator, this administrator can sign in with Azure subscription, uh, with Azure subscription, create a vault for the organization in which can, uh, you know, can store your keys like it is mentioned and then there are different tasks which he's responsible for like you know he can create keys revoke or delete a key authorize users or the application so that they can access this particular key vault configure key usage like it is it will be used for encrypting or decrypting and then at the end of the day we need to monitor all these operations that okay what kind of operations are happening on the key vault now once this is done this particular administrator then gives developers this particular URI for keys. So only directly keys are not given. So basically this uniform resource identifier is given or a uniform resource identity is given for your keys. And this will be used by the Azure developer to actually access the secrets or the keys from the key vault. So, and then at the end of the day, this particular administrator give the key usage logging information to your security administrator that what kind of operations are happening at the as your key vault and who access the key vault like at what time and all those information is needed by the security administrator. So this is all about the authentication to the key vault. So we discuss about the three methods and then a simple process that okay what how the Azure administrator can create the key vault what are the different uh, functions associated. Now we'll try to understand the workflow, how it actually work when we discuss about the key vault. See, remember, we give this URI keys to the developer. So we'll understand this process in bit detail. So the first is your admin, or you can say a key vault owner, create a service principle. So we already know what a service principle is. 
once that is created within the azure active directory the second process is like creating an key vault and configure access for that particular service principle so that whoever the user is or the application is that particular application or web app needs to be provided access to this particular key vault and once we have created that service principle and then in the second step we provided the access created that and provided access to this particular key vault in the third step the key owner or the secret owner will basically create a secret or here it could be an uh, uh, we know that the particular secret owner who will be owning it he can create a secret right within your key vault and then once that secret is created he will communicate that uh, communicate service principle and key secret URI to the application owner so at this particular point the URI we discuss about is communicated to the application owner because at the end we are not giving the keys to the application owner or to the developer we are giving the we are sharing the URI information only so in that case you know if let's say someone will get the URI information as well he'll not be able to get the keys so because again your application is registered with the Azure AD and then once we have that then your developer or application owner it basically uh, configure application or resource source with the principal or a key or a secret URI which is given by the owner now after that once it gets the URI it again authenticates it with the Azure AD in the step number six now once it will check that okay it is a right uh, resource and uh, you know the information which is required by the AD generally so in that case it will receive an in turn token from the Azure AD the number seven and then once it's got the token then it will present that particular token to the key vault that okay this particular application is trying to access the key vault now this application at this way we have already provided the access to this particular key vault and we have provided the access to this service principle which is registered with ad so this service principle got the token and this this token is presented to the key vault and then then this particular key vault provide access to the key vault and retrieve secrets so now this application has the secret and it can perform whatever operations it can do like encrypt decrypt or it needs to access any kind of secret so this is how in general the key vault workflow happens and how the uh, URI is given to the application and how that URI is used to access the secrets from the key vault so this is it in this uh, lecture in this lecture we discuss about the key vault various ways to authentication uh, to perform the authentication because to perform any operations we first need to authenticate to the key vault and then we discuss about the key vault workflow so this is it friends uh, hope you have now clarity on the azure key vault authentication process and workflow so thank you for watching this lecture meet you in the next lecture